Today I'm going to show you exactly how to take an Owlish online course and drop it into your Webflow site. Now this is an updated video. We have a previous one with a similar title and that one is now kind of out of date. Technically it still can work, but this is the more efficient, easier method. And so I'm just going to walk you through it. So if you're watching, uh, if you're tempted to look at the old video, you can just ignore that one now. Here's the way it's done. We have one of our courses. I'll take this one, USC Mastery. And it's ready to go. I, I have it um, built. I'm going to publish it right now. Make sure it's published. And then once it's published, I'm going to go into my settings area and go to um, the integrate. And when I'm here, I'm going to click on Webflow because that's what I want to integrate with. I'm going to put on my Webflow site. I can name this whatever I want. This is just for my kind of reference. And then here I'm going to find the actual, basically the domain of my, where my website uh, in Webflow is hosted. Now I happen to be using one of their kind of built-in domains. If I go into my editor here, my Webflow editor, I can click on publish and it will tell me what that is right here. So alish.webflow.io, but you might have another domain like mydomain.com using a custom domain. So I'm just going to put that in there. There's my domain, just check it again. Oh, .io, I apologize. So let's check that to .io. Okay, I'm going to click create here. It's going to create an entry for where I, what my website is and in the platform Webflow. And now all I have to do is click on this unique ID. When I click on that, I'm going to get my unique creator integration code. And all I'm going to do is either choose if I want to list um, all of my courses available as one grid, which you can do. You can basically have like a grid or a list where all of your courses that are that you're published are listed. And that's using the all um, code there. Or you can choose to one of the actual courses under your uh, available courses. So here, because this is USC Master, it's doing uh, code or course ID 85, whereas if I change it to someone else, it'll give me a different uh, ID here. But I'm going to do USC Master, which is 85. And then I'm just going to grab this entire code and copy that. Now let's head over to Webflow. And what I want to do is put this on an actual page. So the best thing to do is to go right here into the pages. Now you need to have uh, an upgraded account to make this work. Uh, I don't believe this will work very well on just a free page. It's possible you could probably do it, um, but not as easy. And I'll, t I'll show you why in a second. So I'm first going to create a new page. Now let's name this Webflow uh, Example Course. I'm going to create that. And it's going to give me everything I need. Now, typically what I'd like to do is have, um, you know, my header, my menu, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, in this case, it's a little plain, but this is just for, for testing, so it should be fine for now. Um, typically what I like to do is start with a container. Um, now I can put in kind of my whole layer and different sections and stuff like that. That's kind of a nice way of doing it. Um, but eventually I want to put the container here. And the container is where um, it's going to hold my embed code for the course. With the container, I can also adjust the width and you know, max, max it out to the to the um, maximum without a margin, or I can keep it kind of uh, a small margin of, of some sort. This is sort of the default here. And then underneath there, I'm going to go again, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and look for the embed co uh, embed element. And so right here it is right here. I'm just going to drag it up and put it inside my container. When I do that, I'm going to get just an empty HTML embed code editor box, and I just simply click paste to get that all in there. Now that grabs, that, that basically puts everything I need to make this course show up. And I simply press save and close here. And now it's ready to be published. Now, um, if I go up here and publish, or just republish, once that's published, we can now go and let's just try to find the exact URL for this. So if I go to this page and go right here, it'll give me the exact URL where I can find this course on. And then I can go up to my browser paste that in and make sure that the course is showing which it is. So that's how you embed a course onto any page of your Alice site. Now if I wanted to I could add menu. For example if I want to add like that navigation I can go into layouts here, grab my navigation, plop it in there and then publish that just so you can see that you have a lot of flexibility with 
how your course embeds into your Webflow site. So there's not any um, need to only have the course itself. You can put as much uh, surrounding this above or below the course as you'd like and everything will still work just fine. So that's how you do it in a nutshell. Always um, happy to answer any questions that you all have. Just drop on over to owlish.com, O-W-W-L-I-S-H.com, and we'll look forward to helping you out.